is a very simple preparation of fish for me. And it's for the, coming into the summer, you know, or, or fall, where you don't want a heavy dish. Um, right, not that rich. Right. So we're going to make a slaw. Okay. And it's a slaw with things all from Maui. Uh huh. Let me help you with this. With pineapple from right next door from Haliti Miley Pineapple Company. And this is jicama, which comes from an upcountry farm. This is sweet chili, mm -hmm. and then some red jalapenos to give it a little heat, and some lime juice, a little rice wine vinegar. Stir that up. I'm gonna kind of stir our rice and see it's all coming nice and separated. You can just, you can smell, you can actually smell the green tea. It you know, I so bet good. that matcha steamed rice would make some really good musubi. Yeah, you know? I, uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're just gonna let this kind of sit. We're gonna add, this is basil, cilantro, mint. Give it some color. Basil, cilantro, and mint. Yeah, love it. And we're gonna take our miso fish, get a hot skillet. So your marinade, you've got the, the classics. You got miso, you got sugar. Oh. Starting a fire. I've got miso, I've got sugar, I've got a little rice wine vinegar. Uh huh. Um, a little soy. Uh huh. Any sake in this recipe? A little bit. Uh huh. Actually, a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. That is what miso glazed fish should look like. Now, here's the thing about Ono, we all know. And you're, I know you're saying, oh, she used Ono for miso glazed fish. I think you can use any fish for it, really. But what you don't want to do is you really, I'm going to turn this off. Uh -huh. The cooking's continuing, and I don't want to overcook right. this fish. So for me, no, I get it's it. about medium rare is good. I get it. And I want to get all this good glaze. Take the rice, mm -hmm. do a nice, I cook two pieces, you know, one for you and one for me. But okay. I eat mine out of the pan. Wow, look rice. at that. And then take this really good slaw, and then I'm going to get a little on the side. And then I've got Julian watermelon radishes that are gonna go over the top to give it a little height. And then some broccolini from my secret garden. Um, let's take a break, find some chopsticks, and we'll let everybody know out there if this tastes as good as it looks. Okay. So folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back to the show. If you just joined us, we're with Chef Bev Gannon from Maui, who put together this terrific miso ono dish that you feature at the Hali'i Mighty General Store from time to time. Absolutely, and at Gannon's, we flip flop. Okay, we got it, at Gannon's also, yeah. yeah. So can you run that recipe again for me, please? Well, it's a green tea rice mm -hmm. uh, with the miso marinated fish, whatever the fresh catch is, and it's a pineapple, jicama, red jalapeno slaw. Um, we serve it with broccolini and then the final topper is a little drizzle of kabayaki sauce. Oh, okay. Okay, which just gives it, a, the, the slaw is kind of spicy, and this helps give you a little sweet. And it also makes the plate pretty. What's your approach to kabayaki? What's my approach yeah. to it? Your sauce. Let me see what this looks like. Look how beautiful Ooh. that is. Go. Gotta get a little of this. Gotta get a little of the salsa. Boy, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Deb, I, I mm -hmm. shouldn't be surprised because this really works. Um, I'm, yeah, the Ono's works out well with this approach. You just it's, can't overcook it, but you just can't overcook Ono anyway, you know? Exactly, and uh, the rice, everything, everything's, everything works. Thank you, Chef. Thanks for being on the show. Kind of healthy, too. 
Don't say that. Score one healthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks again, and folks, we'd like to say thank you to everybody else who participated on today's program. Folks, it's not going to be that long. We'll see you right back here next week on Let's Go Fishing. I'll find you for this. Time for rice. <laughs>